Welcome to the DVM 365. Give us five minutes or less and we'll update you with the veterinary news, medicine, and business information you need to know right now. I'm Carrie Hiller Johnson, editor of First Line Magazine. In this edition of The Five, we debunk a feline myth, deduce growth in the veterinary profession, consult an expert on our country's zoonotic disease threat, and tell you how to jazz up your practice website with video. First up, the news. Common sense tells us cats hate wearing collars, but new research says otherwise. Almost three out of four cats will tolerate collars, according to a new multi-institution study. Of 538 cats observed, nearly 73% wore their collars for the entire six-month duration of the study. And in almost 60% of cases, the animal's tolerance of collars exceeded owners' expectations. Veterinarians from Cornell University, The Ohio State University, Texas A&M University, and the University of Florida collaborated in the study. The number of veterinarians will balloon between now and 2018. That's according to a recent report in Fortune magazine. It's estimated that the pool of working veterinarians will increase by 36% based on consumer data such as the growing numbers of pets and the amount Americans will spend on them. While this sounds great for the profession, some of your colleagues aren't so sure. See what they're saying and join the discussion by visiting the DVM360.com Facebook page. As the chief pathologist at the Bronx Zoo in 1999, Dr. Tracy McNamara helped uncover the deadly West Nile virus. We caught up with Dr. McNamara following the biosecurity symposium at CBC Kansas City to ask how she grades our nation's readiness to respond to the next disease threat. I think what has changed is there is more communication across the veterinary and public health sectors, but funding hasn't changed. Uh, wildlife is still left out of the picture entirely. Um, and given that most of the emerging infectious diseases in, in the past 10 years have been wildlife related, that is cause for concern. And I I'm not alone in my uh, judgment of this. The Institute of Medicine came out with a report this year saying that it was unable to identify a single well-functioning zoonotic disease surveillance network in the United States. Uh, so we clearly still have a long way to go, and the, the issues that have prevented this to date still have not been addressed. In our multimedia culture, your practice website is more important than ever. Consider sprucing it up with educational videos. You'll attract potential clients and keep pets healthy. But wait, don't have the time or resources to create such videos? Don't worry. First Line Magazine recently collaborated with Olathe Animal Hospital in Olathe, Kansas to create a set of instructional clips that you can post on your site. The topics include helping clients give their pets injections, giving cats a pill, and brushing a pet's teeth, as shown here. This is the, um, the enzymatic toothpaste that we um, recommend. It's chicken flavored. Mm -hmm. And you can actually start with maybe just a little bit on your finger. So no toothbrush at this point. Okay. So he can kind of get used to that. He likes the taste. And maybe even just kind of rubbing your finger on there. So okay. it's, it's still just your finger with it tastes good. Okay. And yeah, you like that. And then you can kind of work up to something like a, a finger brush. This is a finger brush that he is used to. And so if I just put this on and put a little bit of toothpaste on there. We can start kind of with the, the front teeth and you just kind of rub. You can do a little bit of a circular pattern but um, we want it to be easy yes. and so kind of just That's working right. your finger back there on his molars. He's really good about that. <laughs> to embed these videos on your practices site go to dvm360.com slash three free videos. We hope you've enjoyed this edition of The Five. If you have suggestions for future shows, email us at dvm360 at advancedstar.com. And for the latest news, medicine, and business information, be sure to visit dvm360.com every day.